Long Vein Close, Isle of Man. Before the container arrived, we had carpets laid throughout the house, and once everything was unpacked, we started work on the garden, which was not much more than an enclosed desert. We put in 80 Leylandi trees on the boundaries and protected them against the very strong Manx winds with net curtains and plastic bags. We erected the greenhouse, having purchased replacement glass, as most of it had been smashed during removal. Then we laid a lawn and built a patio. The Hillman Avenger had to pass the Manx MOT because it was over three years old. The Isle of Man has no MOT requirement for vehicles already on the island and this was quite evident from some of the wrecks that were being driven around. However the cars of comeovers were a different matter. The inspectors found just about everything wrong that they could and seemed to enjoy the process. This gave hours of employment to both Quick Fit and the Happy Days Garage. Eventually we were issued with a pass certificate. However our red car now became an attractive thing to other vehicles. While stationary, a frozen food delivery van ran into the back of it. And within a few days, a neighbour ran into the front of it. And then, while I was driving the car to the body shop for repairs, another car ran into the back. I was sent on a course for BEC coordinators at Blagdon Training College near Bristol. There was quite a contrast between the games of croquet that we played there and the Bristol riots which I passed within a few hundred yards on the way home. My first job at the college was to start up the first BEC National Business Studies courses for which I was now teaching information technology. We purchased five Commodore computers each with a memory of 1K and I began to teach the basic programming language. Gradually we acquired computers with more memory and introduced students to word processing spreadsheets and databases. At home I had lots of fun with the new Sinclair 48K Spectrum creating educational programs which I tried out on Paul and Catherine. The BEC students organized a Christmas party for staff and students each year. When I eventually ran out of excuses for not attending and went to one, I was presented with a broken LP for the record number of excuses that I had employed. The business studies students produced a rag mag which featured the B team. Apparently that's me, top left. France and Spain. In the summer of 1980 we went with the whole family, now including Paul and Catherine's new cousin Daniel, across the channel making our way to Leyland near Bordeaux on the Atlantic coast, where we stayed for several days in a pine forest adjoining the coast. We then made our way via the Dordogne over to Perpignan on the Mediterranean. The following year we returned to Europe with the Erskine family stopping at Leicester with Elizabeth and John on the way. Here Paul and Catherine met Daniel's sister, Rosemary. At the first campsite on the French side, Billy and I 
struck up a harmonic renditioning of the poachers in the shower block. On completion of two verses we heard applause and then the wife and children of the owner appeared demanding an encore. We first headed for the Mediterranean where we stayed for a week before crossing into Spain. In Lerida we found a great campsite with several swimming pools and stayed for a few days before moving on to Hujesca where we met a Spanish family who were on their way to Lourdes seeking healing for their sick child. Back over the Pyrenees in Nantes we watched Dumbo in French while the car exhaust was being fixed. Open University Jan's final unit for her degree was the TAD 292 course which involved a summer school. There were also projects involving Paul and Catherine such as the Wine Bottle and Jam Jar Orchestra which can be heard on the next page. A five minute extract from the degree ceremony later appeared on television in which Jan appeared walking onto the stage. And now follows a medley of nursery rhymes from the wine bottle and jam jar orchestra. The Isle of Man proved itself to be a great place to get out and about. Such a variety of experiences within an area 40 miles by 20 miles, like a mini England. We were soon exploring the island, its glens, hills, beaches and views. We made friends with the Sale family, Dave, Anne, Mark and Paul who also lived in Lomvain Close, 
and began visiting many places with them. Discovered Langness, with its remains of an 11th century chapel and a 16th century fort and lighthouse. The sea was very calm and the day quite beautiful as we watched the aeroplanes flying in and out of Ronaldsway Airport. Elizabeth and John visited us on a number of occasions. At Air Point, where we watched the seals in the water as the sun went down. We caught the steam train to Castletown and brought back a crate of beer from the brewery. Then to Groudle Beach, via the Glen, where we cooked sausages and onions and enjoyed hot dogs and pale ale. As a family, we went on many camping trips to the Selby Claddocks, where we boated on the river, went for walks, and lit campfires from wood collected in the Ohio plantation. Other highlights included Peel, the Chasms, and Thalty Will Glen. The Isle of Man Steam Packet. One particularly memorable aspect of life on the island was the necessary 40 mile sea crossing, which on a number of occasions involved an 8 or 9 gale force storm, making the journey much longer as well as being uncomfortable. The best place to be was in the middle of the boat, in the lowest deck, with your head down hoping that we would be allowed into port at the other end. The normal crossing time was four hours, but on rare occasions it could take 24 hours. During one late night crossing to attend Grandpa Whiteman's funeral, I asked for a message to be read on the ship's intercom, and I was kindly given a lift halfway along the M62 where Mum and Dad met me.
warm in my hot air balloon. Thought it was September, but it's more like you. Clouds are drifting, floating through the air. They don't seem to wonder, they don't seem to care. Makes happy the skies. The merry bells ring to welcome the spring. The skylark and thrush, birds of the bush, song can be seen on the echo. I went to court and I was 
been knocking at your door so long, so long, so long, so long. I've been knocking at your door so long, so long, so long, so long. So long. Where's the love you saw for years? The hidden lips could pretend. In the north you fight and kill, so you still can get your fill. But in the south of treasures build, the waiting for the Captain swings a laborer. By now you must have learned. At night we break the threshing machines. And what would not smash we burn? They take away our work, my boys. Replace us with machines. Beware, Miss Captain, swing about. 